What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scott About Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new review of Basketball Wives. Looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of these reviews for Basketball Wives without the camera being on because this shit is boring as hell. I keep on trying to give this shit a chance, but child, it just looks like it's not going to happen. But before we get into um the review for today, let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon. Make sure you guys are tuning in tomorrow night as we return for Rosa Review for SWV and Escape, the Queens of R&B. Myself, Terrence, and Josiah will be roasting and reviewing this show. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on my channel, giving you the Real Tees platform, as well as Josiah Josiah's World TV's platform for Roast and Review. Okay, we will be rotating it. It will be starting with me this week. Next week, it will be T. And then a week after that, it will be Josiah. And then it's going to rotate right back around to me again. So make sure you guys are tuning in and make sure you guys are ready for the get down. Okay, we are very excited. We're here to give you guys a show, and, um, you know, we're going to have a good time. You know, Roast Review has not been fun to do um, for a while now, only because of the show that we did before this, and we don't want to mention it, but you know it's Love and Mary Transfield. But, however, um, we're ready, and we're giving you um, some entertainment, so make sure you guys are tuned in. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the review for Basketball Wives. Now, it starts off with Jackie and Brooke. British and Brandy, okay? They're at the um the park walking around by the ducks and stuff. And um you know, they bring up the fact that you know uh Brandy and Duffy had an argument and hopefully the ducks are one of the reasons why they get into a good place, I guess. Um Jackie pretty much tells the girls that Malaysia decides that she has decided that she's going to step back. And so Brandy was like, I've talked to Malaysia and she did say that she wasn't sure about what she wanted to do. So then Brooke was like, well, Brandy, uh, no, Brooke was like, she turned around to the producer and she was like, Crystal, has Malaysia quit the show? And then uh, she said, yes, Malaysia has quit the show. So then they started talking about, you know, she's talking about how her baby father is doing this with, um, you know, with the child support, then why would you quit your main source of income? You know, and I know a lot of folks don't like Brooke, and I know a lot of folks probably going to be mad with me for saying this, but I was definitely thinking the same thing. But at the same time, sometimes a dollar is really not worth your mental health, and sometimes you just got to let certain situations go for the sake of your mental health. Yeah, Basketball Wives is Malaysia's main source of income. Basketball Wives is her main money maker. Basketball Wives is the thing that keeps her relevant. It does. But at the same point in time, if it's not doing well for your spirit or anything like that, then you may need to leave. Um, but what I did not like about people on social media is that they're making Malaysia out to be this victim. They're talking about, um, well, y'all the reason why she left. No one is the reason why Malaysia left. Malaysia decided to leave on her very own. She decided that it was in her best interest to leave. And if she wanted to leave that was her prerogative she left because she wanted to and there's nobody else's fault but her own she did not care when she bullied people off of the cast so now that the kitchen is too hot for her she decided to leave the cast i don't feel bad for her i don't really feel sorry for her but my thing is with her i do agree mental health is way more important than a dollar bill and just like she got a job with vh1 and she got to go out and work a real job instead of um, working for VH1 and doing that, then she could just do that. That's how I feel. She'll, fi she'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. That's all I got to say. Um, you know, British was like, well, I got bigger problems and bigger fish to fry than what Malaysia Pargo got going on. And I'm looking at British like, you damn, you damn skippy. You got a fraud case and you got a damn... Um, Got a damn watch on your on your damn ankle. And yes, I said watch because that's what the hell this shit looks like. It looked like a damn watch. It's on your ankle and you can't even move without nobody knowing that you're moving. So, yes, honey, um, you do have a lot going on to the point to where you don't have to worry about Malaysia um, at this point. But, uh, you know, Brandy was like, uh, I really do wish her well. I feel like Brandy does wish Malaysia well. I know that a lot of people don't like her, but I do think that Brandy does still probably care about Malaysia. She's just got her ways of doing things, and she likes to pretend like she don't care, but in all reality, she care. That's the reason why she felt the way that she did about Malaysia when they weren't friends, because I just feel like if you really didn't care, then it wouldn't have been no situation for you to react to like that. You feel what I'm saying? Because when I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Like, there's no passion. There's nothing. I don't have anything. There's nothing to really say say once i don't care i swear to you i really don't care and that's the part that people do not like about me is when i don't give a damn
damn baby. Scotty don't give a damn. And that's just, that's the God to honest truth. When I tell you that, I don't give a damn, honey. I don't give a damn. And I mean it with every being, fire, fiber of my being. So Brooke meets up with the divorce lawyer. Um, you know, she said that her husband really believes that he got a chance of getting back with her and she's here to let him know that he ain't got no chance in hell of getting back with her. She's trying to do the best thing for her and that is to get herself together and make things right for her own self. And to be honest, I really feel her. I really believe that she wants to let this situation go and, you know, really do better for herself because at the end of the day, you know, somebody else needs to be going to go see a damn lawyer. And that's fucking Brandy. I mean, she, but of course she ain't going to see no damn lawyer because she the type of person that will try to put somebody, try to force somebody to get back in a, in a horrible ass relationship when you don't need to be trying to tell nobody to get in a horrible ass relationship or stay in some horrible ass relationship. But that's the type of shit that she be doing. I'm telling you, that's what she do. And I just don't get it. And I don't understand it, but I don't think but at the same time, it may not be meant for me to understand at all, but all I'm saying is this here. Girl, uh, do what you do, but I feel like this. I don't really think that um, Steve, um, this was his first rodeo with cheating. I feel like he been cheating on Brooke for a very long time now, and Brooke probably really didn't know that he was, but he just give me cheater. It's just something about him that gives cheater. That's just what I believe, but I don't know. We will soon find out. I don't know. But I think that it's good that Brooke is making the steps to, you know, show that she don't need no man. She ain't got to stay with him. If they want to cheat, go ahead and cheat. But I, but you ain't got to stay with me to do it. So I, I feel on that. Um, so we see Angel for the first time. It's funny how Malaysia leaves and Angel just pops her ass back up. Jackie checks in on Angel. You know, Angel didn't had a C-section, so she'd been healing. That's why she ain't really been around the ladies. But she's really um hoping to get around the ladies soon. She really misses the women, and she just wants to, you know, get around the women again and just hang out. You know what I mean? So then we get into um Jason and Brandy. You know, Brandy, I mean, Jason has come to LA from Dallas to visit Brandy and then they discuss the cookbook and um Jason coming to LA. You know, she said, I really feel like you should come and, you know, follow, you know, come here with me so I can follow my dreams and stuff like that. And, you know, he's like, um, I can do that from Dallas. You know, he's just not in the mood. Um, he does, he is not, um, he, trust me, that man is not interested in being in LA. He wants to stay in Dallas and cheat in peace while she go out here and follow her dreams. Brandy feels like, you know, I moved all across the world for you. Like when you wanted to do something, I was always there. I did this, I did that. And I do understand where Brandy is coming from. Like, you know, she did move across the world for him. But at the same point in time, you know, if he really want to be with you and he really want to make things work out with you and just try to, you know, give you the same thing that you gave him, then most definitely, um, he should do it, but he's not going to do it. I mean, if he can sit up there and sleep around with 300 women and tell you that on national TV and embarrass your crazy ass, then, okay, girl, what do you mean? You know what I mean? So she's talking about, I'm over it. I'm over it, girl. You should have been over the entire marriage. That's all I'm saying. You should have been over the entire marriage because anytime a man tell you that he didn't cheated on you with 300 women and you still take a back, girl, I don't know if that's love or if that's some foolish ass shit. I really don't know. That's why you have the um the opinions that you have about marriage because you feel like everybody's supposed to stay and take back cheating ass men. And that's not something that everybody got to do. Now, if, you, if a man cheats on you and you decide to stay with him, then that's your prerogative. I'm not here to judge nobody because that's just your own personal business. So so I'm not here to judge, but all I got to say is this here, girl, bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, bye. Like, who are you? Why are you doing this? You know, why do you feel like you need to? I don't get it, but girl, it is what it is, child. You feel what I mean? Like, it is what it is, but that's it. You know, that's all I really got for Brandy on that. Jackie and British, they, um, Jackie comes over to check in on British. Um, Jackie starts crying, child. And, um, you know, British was like, girl, don't cry. And I'm just like, yeah, Jackie, what the fuck you crying for? She got on an ankle bracelet and she got the damn ankle ankle bracelet on because she decided to go out of her way and do something that she had no damn business doing. And that is the truth. That's what she decided to do. And she got, she's the one who decided to step out of her lane and do something that she ain't had no business doing. So to me, it's like this girl, sit your ass down and deal with it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like... Why are you sitting up here 
why are you sitting up here doing this like why are you sitting up here um crying and shit y'all act like british didn't do no crime that's exactly what she doing she did a crime and now she paying a fine for it you know british started saying how she was talking to her daughter about it the daughter knows what was going on and um you know she just feels some type of way about having to tell her daughter this but you wasn't thinking about your daughter when you decided to do what you were doing it then that just the truth there that is the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. You wasn't thinking about any of that when you decided to sit there and allow this shit to go down. You feel what I mean? Like, it's crazy to me. And I don't get it. I don't get it. You wasn't thinking about You wasn't thinking about your daughter. You didn't care about what your daughter had to say when you was out here frauding folks, allegedly. Like, you didn't give a fuck. You didn't give a damn. You didn't give a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. And that's just the truth. So, girl, bye. Have a seat. Whatever it is, what it is, child. Like I don't really give a damn, but you know. However, do what you do. Um, what's next? So we get with Jackie and Brandy. They discuss Brandy's issue with Duffy. The problem that I got with Brandy in this situation is that I feel like Brandy don't know how to talk to nobody, and that's just the goddamn truth. Brandy don't know how to talk to nobody, and she talks down to people, and that's what people's problem is with her. It's the fact that she talks down to folks and don't think that nobody's supposed to give her back that same energy. You cannot talk down to somebody that you consider a friend and then believe that they're not supposed to give you that same energy back. I don't know who the hell you think you are or where the hell you fucking from, but you cannot sit up here and talk down to me and think you're not going to get that shit back. Who, who the hell are you? Like, you were sitting up there really patronizing Duffy and acting like she was an idiot. Like that's not the way you talk to your friends, baby girl. It's not, and you need to, and you need to quit that shit, or otherwise you're not gonna have no damn friends. So that might, and that could be a reason why Malaysia didn't want to deal with your ass to begin with. And this is coming from somebody normally is team Brandy on the whole shit, but in this particular moment, I can't be on her because she's like she was disrespectful as hell to Duffy for no damn reason, and we just got to keep it all the way a book with the situation. She wasn't. She she just wasn't. No, I can't. I can't with it. Like, no, she was disrespectful. Then she starts talking about her dilemma with Jason and how she feels about Jason not really respecting her dreams and what she really wants and all that other stuff. And I'm just like, you still crying over Jason? Was you crying when you decided to take his ass back after them 300 women? That's all I'm saying. So then Je uh, Jennifer, Brooke, and Duffy, you know, Brooke discussed her divorce. You know, she was talking about going to see a divorce lawyer and stuff like that. And then they started talking about Duffy's argument with brandy and you know jennifer was like y'all was throwing some low blows like y'all was really going in on each other but i really feel like y'all can really sit down and make and hash this thing out duffy is hopeful for doing it but at the same time she's annoyed with brandy because of the way that brandy came at her and not only did she come at her like that she came out at her like that in front of a group of people so i ain't gonna lie that would piss me off too i ain't even gonna hold you Duffy and Iman, they went to this therapy session, and I ain't really got much to say about the therapy session besides the fact that I feel like they're both on the right page, and they're both thinking about one another instead of each other. Like, I think that they see where the weaknesses in their relationship are, and I think that they want to make that shit work out, and I think they want to be certain that it does the right, you know, they go in the right direction. I think that's what this is, um, because it seemed like it went well, so that's all I could really say on that. Um, what else is new? Let's see. What else is next? What else is new, child? What else is new? Um, uh, let's see. Where are we? Okay. So, um, so then, uh, Jason and Brandy, they go to this. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Angel. She has a touching discussion with her daughter. She's about to go back to work. She doesn't want to miss out on her clients. She don't want her clients to be neglected. She talks to her daughter. Her daughter did say that she's going to miss her. That kind of made, you know, Angel kind of emotional in a sense. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, you know, she got to go back and get them coins. But she's going to try to balance it out the best way that she can so her daughter won't feel like she's being neglected. Love that conversation. Jason and Brandy went to this cooking thing. Jason decided that he's going to come out to L.A. whoop de doo We should have known he was going to do that. Jackie, Jennifer, Brooke, British, and Duffy, they work out. Jennifer and British called Brandy out on the way that she was talking to Duffy. And I feel like Jennifer and British were telling her the damn truth. Brandy does not know how to talk to nobody. Brandy was disrespecting Duffy. Brandy was out of line completely. And she was wrong. And I feel like she's not going to own that she's fucking wrong at all. 
Jackie and Brooke want Duffy and Brandy to talk. Brandy and Duffy starts talking, and I feel like Duffy was trying to get her point across, but Brandy was talking about, you know, she's trying to play the victim. At the end of the day, Duffy is not playing the victim. She was the victim in the situation because you were disrespectful. So what the fuck are you talking about, Brandy? Like, girl, like that, like you was trying to dominate the conversation. You wasn't allowing Duffy to really get no point in edgewise, and it just seemed like you wasn't trying to hear nothing that she had to say. What you wanted to do was get her ass together in front of everybody. Body, and that's just not the way to go listen to what she's saying you telling her that she needs to listen and all of that stuff and duffy was like if you're gonna say something about me you say something about me but don't bring up you know don't bring iman up don't bring my nigga name up then brandy said well don't you bring my nigga name up and duffy said you brought him up first which she did duffy never would have said nothing about jason if Brandy never said nothing about Iman. So Brandy, shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut your fucking mouth up and own up to the fact that you were wrong, period. And that's all I got to say on that. So with that being said, you guys, that is my review on um, Basketball Wise. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok, it will be down below in the description box. Okay, you guys, so I'm up out of here. Um, I'll see you guys on the panel tonight, and I will also see you guys tomorrow night for Roast Review, and I am out of here. Um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Rest in peace, Danita, and I'm out of here, y'all. Until the next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up guys, it's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said, please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you